Hi guys, Karibuni yet again for the ones who come for the very first time. Thank you. Welcome to the Milan Kabata channel. I thank you so much. It's been a great run. And um, I thank you so much for those people who want to subscribe. How you do that? You just click on the red button below this video. And thank you. I'm honored to have you in this small family of mine. And let's just get to it. As you can see is commitment and I went ahead and added a small statement of and in writing please my angle today is in terms of just seeking legal counsel as young people I think one of the things I've really noticed when we are young we and not only young people most people think that um, looking for legal counsel is something for the bougie for the rich or when it involves a whole lot of money but no it is a very paramount for you to have legal counsel, uh, legal counsel in the most things you do, especially business-wise. And because I know a whole lot of you guys either are employed or have side dealings on the side or actually are self-employed, it's so important to know that having legal binding documents when it comes to any single thing you're doing is so important. I remember um, for a very long time I took, I took for granted the um, need to have legal legal documentation to support anything that I was doing and what do I mean I've worked for people who have literally not offered me a contract but because maybe we had an existing relationship I felt ah Naju Anani so things cannot be that cannot go that left but you only know how left things can go when things get thick and you are at a head to head with people and you have no proof whatsoever to show they either contracted you to start to do a certain thing to offer them a certain product or a certain service that is when you know what you really stand to lose when people refuse to pay you because there's nothing to actually there's no reference to be made on a written document on something you signed and they signed acknowledging that this is an actual agreement i did this video because most young people and i as a young person have been at a place where i feel you know i don't push too much this person i don't want them to think that i don't trust them that much so let me just do it nijobia two weeks i don't need legal uh, documents involved nijobia araka araka so i'll do it that's wrong guys when i was um starting my business when i was um registering my company i was fortunate enough to start talking to a lady lawyer um, who's now a very very close person to me and i always pick up my phone and call her in case of anything or i feel i i need to know how this will come out or i need to know whether this holds water or it doesn't hold water and i remember having this discussion with her in terms of how my, the name of my company the documentation that what uh, was needed for me to present and i remember her telling me please ensure that the person you choose to partner with in your business preferably please do not pick somebody just because of emotional affiliation and this is one of the mistakes i had made for a very long time i used not to make people give me a legal document or maybe a contract because i felt to my and bali uh this person they can't do me like that this is a supplier i am a quirky this the last one year they can't let me down but it is always important to have that backup that written agreement draft it yourself if you may if you don't have a lawyer to draft it for you or because sometimes uh, it can be expensive please always draft something that is will act as a backup that binds the both of you whether it's you and the other partner or the other person on the other side just binding the both of you to know what is expected of you in this particular deal and i'll say this emotional affiliation can mostly be from us young people who maybe from we young people sorry who have not really experienced um side deals or have not really experienced self-employment in its full frame so we always find things happening so fast and we are so excited and we end up doing things in the heat of the moment without really knowing what is um at stake for example um for example my lawyer told me if please refrain from getting people to be shareholders and directors legally just putting them in writing and giving them big stakes in your business if they do not have a direct injecting um, power into your business and what do i mean by injecting power for example most people who are shareholders to companies either 
they offer a certain service to that particular business some people are shareholders by virtue of their financial capability so you'll find a person is a silent partner but normally they are the financial of the business sort of like the investor of the business so when it comes to money and running the projects this person helps financially then you are able to make the decision of making them a permanent shareholder however what she told me was if you find yourself for example in the simplest business as i remember in college people just discussing and saying Aki, sinani, see we can do this and this we start like a salon or we start selling clothes and because in our minds that deal is so informal and we are such so deep friends we are, we are so deep in friendship we always feel like this person nani and nani has the best interest at heart but it's not always like that you need to always have a backup to ensure that whether that person is your best friend your mother your sister your spouse your boyfriend you always need to enter a legal binding um phase or a document that actually shows what is expected of each party because what we don't look at is the future and most of us want to be very positive for example i was telling my boyfriend if we start a business together and because we are so in love at the moment not that i'm not loving forever but we are so in love in the moment we are so caught up in the feelings and if we start a business together and for example he puts me as a shareholder in his company just by virtue of me being his girlfriend and we feel like we are doing things together and things are working out if it is not if i go ahead if he goes ahead and makes me a shareholder there is so much explanation to what me being a shareholder and my powers are am i aware or is he aware of how how much power he's handing to me just by giving me even five percent of shares in his company these are some of the things we really need to do research in and again going back to legal counsel to understanding when i have a stake in my business if i give it out to somebody else should we split in terms of this platonic relationship, this romantic relationship? What do I stand to lose? Do we know the procedures of how to undo what we've done? For example, if you are a shareholder of a business, do you know your powers? Do you know the powers that you're handing another person? Are you comfortable even after knowing, you know, you only, you can make a decision after you explain to by your legal counsel of the powers you're actually handing to this other person, then you're more equipped to make that kind of big commitment. I'm not discouraging you from getting into business with the people you love, whether it is platonically or it's romantically, but we always have to be very, very careful in not entering business deals just because our emotional footing is way in sight. We need to be better thinkers and uphold ourselves to be better educated when it comes to the dealings of legal matters, when it comes to how serious business can be. I have had so many people do businesses together and then later because you acquired assets together maybe you've been splitting rent of uh, where your business premises is um once you fall out now there's this nasty fight of not knowing who takes what who will take the stock who will take the shopping itself who will take the money in the bank your signatories to the account now who has access to the money and all these things because we do things so informally we never take time to know exactly the unbinding of the whole binding situation and having legal counsel has helped me know that legal counsel and having a lawyer doesn't always have to be a political issue of a rich person or a rich person's issue we normal noble people can also access advice look to somebody who can tip you and tell you what you stand to gain what you stand to lose and actually make the decisions of a very knowledgeable and enlightened point of view when i say written i mean please avoid making deals business deals verbally always communicate with people via email via text always have a written document that shows and proves that that conversation happened i know all of you are, are um have this famous uh, tendency of saying as discussed in an email just to capture that we actually had this conversation we sat down and point one two three we agreed on point three four five is pending and seven eight we did not agree on it's always very advisable as a young person please do not let people get commitment off of you verbally and you give them just a verbal answer just to go back to saying that this person never paid me we had this agreement but it it's never written anywhere so even if you don't have a lawyer please learn the art of 
drafting things on your laptop, documents that actually are drafted just capturing what the deal is about, what the financial quote is, what financial expectations they are, what the objectives of the whole objective of the whole partnership is, who does what and who doesn't do what, who has the mandate to do A, B, C, D and who doesn't. To be very clear in your dealings to avoid you having to sue people and after that you don't even have, most of us don't even have that capability of suing people and most of the people I've spoken to will tell you I would want to sue so and so because how can it but if somebody asks you where was the email or the document you signed showing that you agreed on this and this, most of us are left our mouths are left open because oh my god i trusted this person so much i thought that because we've been friends for so long or they were my boyfriend or they are my parent or whatever they would always come through for me what i've learned is just to clear off just like moses cleared off the red sea so whether it's a family member you're dealing with whether it's the love of your life you're dealing with you need to differentiate between your love life and the business you're doing together how much you love your best friend versus the business you're doing together it is so important and it's so paramount for us to know that writing always has been the old school and will forever be the greatest proof of that there was an agreement that was in the first place there are so many people who look at you just blunt out say i don't know what you're talking about you are to receive a check of fifty thousand, yet you verbally you guys agreed on eighty thousand. but because you do not have a way of proving that thirty thousand, eighty thousand was the agreed upon amount then you lose out because there is no one there to actually say it's a hearsay he said this, she said this, and you don't want to be caught up in that kind of um, situation. Make sure, whether you're working for somebody, whether it's five days, and I learned this from my boyfriend because he is very strict and very organized when it comes to dealing with people. If he has an agreement with you, he always used to make like legal, he used to sign documents, like sign a contract. And for me, coming from the place of not knowing anything, I used to be like, I see you job four days, Mbona, you need all this writing and these documents and back and forth. But it's always, always advisable to be very clear with your client, be very clear with your supplier, be very clear with your business partner in terms of what the deliverables are. And how best to do that is just sharing a document that both of you acknowledge through signing or both of you agree on through stamping or whatever there is. But what I my point is, my point is what I'm trying to put across is just make sure that you never get into a deal without a written document binding you to that deal because it saves you a whole lot of time in terms of following up on payments because those documents are very clear in terms of timing and durations for you to have to wait for your payment to be made down payment agreements um the kpis or the objectives of the whole uh the, the deliverables you have to do if you are a supplier what you have to supply what quantities there's no back and forth because it is very clear from onset between the two of you who are working together it is very very clear don't let your emotional front or your emotional well-being and knowing somebody for a long time make you make decisions of just familiarity please note that as much as you love the next person and as much as you've known them for a lot of years anything can happen and one of the things that i have known is just to ensure that i cover myself in case of anything and older people again i keep comparing young people and older people because of the much experiences of being duped the much experience it has come to when somebody um took away money they were not supposed to claimed you never paid them yet you did i'll advise you even when you pay somebody as my the guy who does my accounting tells me even if you make a payment of a check always make sure you follow up with a verbal um with a written statement whether it's whatsapp whether it's an email just confirming that i wrote this check for you confirm receipt for them to actually state back and write back and state i actually received it so that in case of anything nothing actually prevents you from producing the proof that this actually this conversation happened this project ended at this particular day i actually made the payment because you never know who you're dealing with you could actually have made a payment and somebody comes up front and says i never received a dime from you because you're dealing with cash there's no uh paper uh, there's no paper trail um there's no uh trade 
chasing of your cash because you never wrote a check you're always dealing with money and i like how people nowadays have in pesa because you always can prove that you paid a person you paid this particular pay bill number so that there's always something to fall back on when it comes to deals going um, wrong there are so many people who've not paid me when i've worked for them there are so many people who've not um acknowledged that they paid me halfway because anyway how will i prove an inilipa nusu if i there was nothing to say he owed me 8k if this guy decides to pay me 2 g's that's all i will take and there's no way i can take him or her because there's nothing to prove to them that listen this is what we agreed and you must follow on the same have you been a victim of delivering services to a client or being a supplier or being an employee who works with no contract no legal agreement on signing on paper that has been filed that can be retrieved to prove you actually are affiliated to this person in a business in business terms have you done that before you should correct it are you a victim of always making your friends do things for you and you never want to commit when it comes to paper it shows either you're into shady dealings or you need to change that and you need to make things very professional and very upfront and it doesn't matter the kind of relation you have with this business person you're working with because i'm a strong believer that whether you're my boyfriend or my husband when it comes to our business everything has to be done the way it should be for young people please don't let people convince you to work for them without actually acknowledging in documentation of a contract or an agreement just agreeing in terms of your timelines of working the amount of money you're supposed to get paid please ensure that you follow up to the t that you have a copy of the same so that in any case if something ever happened don't trust people too much don't trust your friends too much don't trust your family too much there'll always be a place where something irreconcilable can happen and all things because we are human these things happen make sure that there's paper trail if you're paying people make sure you always have a proof of payment whether it's a check whether it's an impressa um um an impressa message just something to prove that this was actually done and accountability is held when it comes to written documents thank you so much for joining my channel i am having a blast shooting the videos it has been a month and a half i think thank you so much for joining me thank you for those who have subscribed let's keep growing please share my videos and subscribe like give me a thumbs up if you like my videos share them vastly and encourage your family and friends to watch my videos till the next time thank you so much for joining me my name is milan kabata Mwah.